Hey guys, it's Brandon Miniman from PocketNow.com. Froyo for Android isn't available on most Android devices yet, but that doesn't mean you can't get it on your HTC HD2, typically a Windows mobile device. Let's show you how to do it. Okay, so again, just like all of the other builds of Android on the HD2, you run this off of your storage card. It's very, very easy to do. There are no ill effects, and I'll put the link up in the sidebar on how to uh, download these files. So here are the files, and in this particular case, we need to run this little utility in order to get the speaker to work. You just click on it, and it runs, uh, and then it's done. So I'm going to do harrit.exe, and it's going to enter the Linux bootloader, and within about three minutes, we're going to be looking at Froyo. I'll jump, jump ahead in time. Okay, so here we are in Android 2.2. It knows the carrier that I am on. Let me uh, get it to wake up again. So I'm going to slide to unlock, and here we are in Froyo, which is quite nice. We can jump into settings just to confirm that we are indeed on Froyo. Let's go to About Phone, and there it says Android 2.2. Uh, model is the HTC Desire. It's the Desire ROM working off of that. And... Uh, it's called Darkstone HD2 Froyo down here. This is the particular build number. So again, I'll post a link up on pocketnow.com and in the description on how to get this to work. But let's bounce around a little bit and talk about what works. So first of all, the phone works. You can actually make calls with this. So I'm going to make a call out right now, and you're going to hear that it does work. I'm going to put on speakerphone so you can hear it. Thank you for calling. The phone works, as you can hear. Very nice. Let's go back. We can go into the application tray, which works quite smoothly. So you get that 3D effect still. The camera works. So here we go. Take a picture of my hand. Beautiful. And it, it works. It's pretty impressive. And we can also do pinch to zoom with the multi-touch support. It's not as smooth as, it, as a typical Android device would be, but this is pretty impressive, uh, you have to admit, for having uh, Froyo running on the HTC HD2. So we can add a variety of widgets, we can change the wallpaper. This button here has again been mapped to the Android uh, menu system. So we can go to wallpaper, go to live wallpaper, and you don't really want to run a live wallpaper on this, uh, on this particular build because it's going to slow down the system. Uh, it's not really optimized perfectly to take advantage of all the resources. So I'm going to leave that there, but let's take a look at some of the widgets that we can add. You know, the typical Android stuff, we can add news and weather widget, which is always cool to have, so a little weather. And all the widgets work, because it's top tapping into the Wi-Fi. And there we have, the weather widget is working, we can tap on it, it goes into the weather application. Very, very nice. Okay, so let's go back. Let's go into the web browser for a minute. I was using it earlier, so there may be a page already loaded there, or it's actually going to start from the beginning. So it's loading pocketnow.com. Okay, and here it comes. Loading pocketnow.com. We can switch into landscape. It does work with the accelerometer. It takes a little bit of a second, but there it goes. I'm going to let it finish loading here. We'll jump around on the page, see how performance is. Okay, and it's done, and we can you know, move down the page. A little bit choppy when you move down the page, uh, but you can do the pinch to zoom to, to get a little bit closer to text. So very nice. Pretty good for web browsing. Let's go back to the home screen. And by the way, you can actually have landscape home screens, which is cool if you rotate the device. So you don't see that too much on, on Android devices, but we can use it in portrait or in landscape. Okay, so let's jump into some other programs, see how they operate here. So, of course, the calendar works. I mean, everything, everything works here. Um, it sometimes becomes a little bit choppy, uh, but that's what you have to expect when using uh, a port like this. So we can jump into the Twitter application. And here's the, uh, the Twitter application for Android, so you can sign in there. Little birdie is animated down there. Um, if you tap and hold on the home button, just like in any other Froyo device, you'll get the eight recently used programs, which is nice, so you can use that to multitask. Let's jump back into the application tray, see if there's anything else that uh, we wanted to cover here before we jump out of this video. And let's see how YouTube works. That's a particularly stressful uh, program to run for device. Lots of bandwidth, lots of uh, GPU activity. So let's see if we can play any of these videos here. So let's see. Looks like it's going to play. And we're doing YouTube high quality right now. So yeah, it, it works, and it works quite well. Looks like the video is pretty smooth. Very, very good. 
So Froyo working quite well on the HTC HD2. Of course, there are still more improvements to be made in speed and stability, but as it is now, it's quite fast. The phone works, Wi-Fi works, the internet works, all the programs work. You can get into the market, download applications, and almost use it as if you actually had Android installed on your HD2, and not you're not just running it through a Linux bootloader. So please give a thumbs up if you liked the video, and be sure to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching, and that's it for now.